ECN Trade Technical Webinar. Good morning, my name is Rob Clayton. The Australian dollar staged a very impressive advance yesterday, however, hit a wall of resistance around 73.50.60. On the day, the hourly and also the four hourly is in a, back into a negative formation. This implies that we should see a move away from the resistance of 73.5 and look towards the support of 72.80 as minor and 72.40 which was the recent low. A break beneath the 72.40 level would actually give further leverage to the downside and look towards a target of 71.20 to 71.80, which is pretty much uh, the view since the rejection of 78 cents. You can see this downtrend. We had an outside range day twice, and now the heavy performance to the downside looks destined to reach that target of 71.20.80. To turn this market around, it has a hell of a lot of work to do on the upside. It has to clear the resistance of 74.10.25 and higher towards 74.90.95 to reinstate the bullish implications. But I feel this is unlikely because if you go further out and look at the weekly, you can see here that it is starting to show little momentum. It's falling quite rapidly. This in turn suggests that if we do break below 71 cents, it would give an objective towards 69.80 and maybe back towards the lows of this year around 68 cents. But let's reassess from 71 cents first to see if this pattern is still looking to go that way. Euro, once again, pretty relatively quiet overnight and still locked within a range of 112.70 to 113.65.85. With offers likely to be building towards this region I still expect to see a further down move play in the next 24 to 48 hours. As a, with the resistance capped around 113.65.85, the immediate support comes in at 112.70, with the objective still remaining towards 112.2025. A break here exposes the next support, which comes in around 110.50.60, and reassess from there. .em, once again, backs away from that resistance of 109.60 with the heavy fall that came afterwards. Should find support on the day around 108.70. I'm still viewing that the market will push higher and eventually break over that 109.55.65 resistance and look on towards the objective that I'm still holding towards 110.40.80 and reassess from there. What would turn this market around is if we see a break under the level of 107.70. This would expose the recent lows of 105.10.30, which is expected to hold the ball camp. Let's just say overall, I'm still looking for a move up and dips to be likely to find demand. Sterling yesterday's performance was quite positive until it reached the resistance of 145.25, the previous high, and was rejected quite heavily and, has, and actually looking like it will continue into today with the four hour uh, oscillator coming down further should promote a fall towards the support of 144.05 with 143.25 to 142 figure as an objective. If we do get a break above that 145.25.40 resistance, that would probably trigger a stop loss rally up towards 146. But while these indicators hold to a negative four formation, I still believe that the market will test lower. And wrapping with gold. Gold again stages another bullish Price action from the 112.70 support. With the day's range now seen at 1,274 to 1,282. With the resistance still expected to cap from 88, I'm still looking for a move down towards the region of 1,260 to the objective holding of 1,245. If we do see a break of 1,288, then this would uh, produce momentum to encourage the, the rally on towards that highs of 15 month highs around 1,300. And it is there that it needs to break above 1,304 to get the next move up. However, if you look at the uh, time frame here on the four hour, it's not 
overly bullish and in more respect to the indicators that we should see a retreat again from that 1,288. So in a wrap, Aussie to be weaker with Euro and Sterling to eventually move towards the downside. Dolly Yen still expected to see demand on dips and with gold capping around 1,288 looks for a move down towards 74 and down lower towards the 62-64 region. Thank you very much for listening and enjoy your day.